What's up with it, y'all? It's EJOE Business. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for coming. I hope you enjoy my reaction. All right, y'all. Right here, I did something about EFF not too long ago, and somebody mentioned the clicks. Somebody mentioned clicks. So I looked that up and I was like, what the hell is clicks? So I'm thinking, what? It's probably a group. And I guess so. All right. I found this, this video. This came out last year, September 7th. And it's EFF versus um, clicks. Cl um, clicks is EFF leader Julius Malema at Clicks Mall of the North. Let's check this out, all right? This is the first thing I'm seeing that has to do with um, clicks. All right, so let's go. Let's see how this is. We in here. Freedom Fighters uh, leader Julius Malema is currently addressing the crowds there. It's with regards to that controversial advert uh, from clicks. Let's go there now live. Formation of the EFF. The EFF is the only machine that can defeat racist in South Africa. And we are here to say to clicks peacefully, racism is violence. And the only way to defeat violence is through violence. And we are here peacefully. We are saying to them they must close the whole week. They will open from Saturday. Because they value money more than humanity. They projected us in that way because they wanted to make more money out of projecting black people as people who cannot be celebrated and their beauty is not befitting of human beings. So we are here to say to them, since you wanted to make money at our expense, we are going to make you lose money because you worship money more than humanity. We wrote a letter to them we ask them peacefully, do not close, do not open for the next five days. They refuse. We said to them, suspend the person who was involved in this advert. You must dismiss a company that commissioned this advert. They refused to give us a list of the people who were involved in the advert. They refused to terminate the contract of the company that was involved in projecting black people as ugly people. So we are here to teach them a lesson. We will not be here if the management here at Mall of the North of Clicks commit that they will not open until Saturday, they will open from Saturday. If they do not commit, we are going to come back here every day and they are inconveniencing the mall and other shops. I don't know why other shops are closing, because there is no need to close other shops. We are fighting against clicks, not checkers and shop right and anything like that. Their day will come. Today is the day of clicks. We don't know what police are doing here. Ma papa. Ma police are papa. Because in South Africa we have a right to protest. Without permission, we require no permission to protest. When they insulted us clicks, police didn't go to clicks. But when we are here to respond to clicks, but abakiti mamoka boots yaungha. Ma police are police must go and arrest real criminals and rapists out there. But I'm a boy, Jadi Cho, Cho Jadi criminals. About to arrest the criminal. But I'm more than just a tourist. But to have the dignity of black people. But to have the style of the police, the mutomuns. The nyaka tourist mutomuns. What one thing? The same policeman. But more than that, your hair is ugly. Therefore, you are ugly. But I'm a kitty man. We are not mad people. We are reasonable people. We are members of parliament. We make laws. We don't make violence. Azangara Sukela clicks. Clicks in or Sukela and Jay. And they know every time they provoke black people, they will apologize. And some wish wishy-washy blacks without a big bow. 
some amoebas will say no Trix has apologized therefore let's leave them that is the highest level of stupidity of the black elite which wants to behave like white people we are not white we will never be white white people insult us and then they apologize they think that is the end we are no longer going to accept any apology yeah, it's like that over here too. Which is not accompanied by justice. We need justice, not apology. Who is punished for projecting black people as ugly people? Who is punished for that? That's what we are seeking today. We want someone to be held accountable. Someone must lose his or her position. We don't care whether it's black or white. They must lose their position for insulting black people. That is justice we seek. We don't seek a smelly apology which is not authentic. Every time they apologize, every time they are ready to throw money, they say to us, give us any organization will donate money to charity. It's an arrogance of capital. Every time they insult you, they say they will pay you. So we are tired of that. We are here peacefully. We are saying to Tlix, South Africa, close your shops. If you want peace, you don't want problems, close your shops until Friday. Then there will not be any problem with Tlix. If you don't want to close your shops, Tlix, suspend the people who are involved in projecting black people as ugly people fire the company that commissioned that advert which projected black people as ugly people we have been projected as ugly people for a very long time by white people it must come to an end at some point and it starts today with clicks who are tired so from here we are going to Saikat, we are going to savannah and we are going to turn in to end game to check if all clicks are closed. The whole South Africa click stores must be closed today until Friday. We are going to leave now. They've closed these shops. They've taken out the workers through a back door because they said they were scared to come through this door. All right, so this is like the first time that I've just seen something just with him talking like this. I like everything he's saying, you know, I like everything he's saying, I do, all right, so, yeah, like, I think everything he's saying, like, there's nothing, like, really negative, I don't hear anything negative about it, you know, um, there was something in there I, I kind of wanted to stop it for, but, um, otherwise, like I feel with everything he's saying, you know, for the most part, I do for the most part. Okay. Um, I don't know everything, but just for a lot of the stuff he said, I agree with him for a lot of it. He has, you know, so yes. Um, I usually don't like really talking about like giving my opinion with the politics. You know, I just like watching this stuff just to learn, you know, but, um, yes, that's what I'll say. Um, I'm not going to give my opinion on this anymore, you know, cause I, I don't, I'm still like in the straight and narrow with things. How I'm like down the middle with a lot of things. Okay. Basically I'm like, I'm independent. That's how, whatever. All right. Anyways, let's go back, continue watching this. I won't stop it anymore. And they committed that they will not open. We are leaving other workers in other stores. If these people open, call us. We'll come back. We are ready. We are in town. We are monitoring stores of clicks. If any store of click is open, inform the EFF will come there and will close it. We are tired of white arrogance. So today, is the beginning of a rolling action against clicks. Every day, fighters, you must be combat ready. 
when you are called that uh, there is a store open of clicks you have to respond quickly and we go and shut down all those stores black security guards respect yourself stop provoking people who are not fighting against you black policemen start respecting yourself when you are called you should ask the question what is the problem is there any crime being committed peaceful protest is not a crime it will never be a crime it is protected by the constitution we have a right to protest and we require nobody's permission to protest we require no policeman's permission to protest we are here without a policeman's permission this is not apartheid time where police thought they were more powerful than the people police must learn to respect people securities must learn to respect people we are not yes. crazy we can't just wake up in the morning and come here if we don't have issues which must be addressed a policeman must ask the question the station commander must ask a question what is the problem why are they protesting or oh, you offended them where is the management let the management deal with that it's not a police matter put lemoka uniform but ba commit a crime o busy o teleje di ngoma ka mo o bini cha menwana ka ra boots e we tie o ka ra o nya ko bina we lo wena o bini cha menwana go and fight the real crime leave cliques and white racism to the got a pause real quick you know how he just started talking in a different language how people started laughing you know how close i was to just start laughing or smiling to make it seem like i understood it you know just because how i heard people in the background all right anyways eff we will deal with it we will deal with white racists we will put them to their place there is no white man who is a racist who must feel comfortable in south africa let us make racist uncomfortable in south africa so that they take the next flight to australia because there is no hope for racist here in south africa thank you very much fighters for coming let us go to tony let's go to sycad let's repeat savannah once we are sure everything is closed we can disperse peacefully we don't need any policemen to accompany us we know the law we make the law amanda thank you let's see all right, there you go, EFF leader Julius Malema there, well, explaining the plan ahead and why they're there in the first place, the purpose of their protests, uh, calling on clicks to close for the whole week, saying they can open again on uh, Saturday, so calling for five days of closure, uh, saying that uh, clicks worships uh, money more than humanity. He, they're calling for the person who were all persons who were involved in this advert to be suspended they initially requested a list of the people that were involved in this advert i don't think that they got that list from clicks so they say so, all right i'm done with that clicks 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 who are the clicks i have an idea of what i think but yes the clicks who are they because once again i have an idea let me know how you guys feel about all that I agree with a lot of stuff he said with the protest too. That's how it is up over here. You know, with Black Lives Matter. You know, like there's things that's happened, like, you know, with the bad protests, but mostly positive protests. But a lot of times people just hear about the negative protests, which is messed up. Just like how I showed a little clip before on Fox News, just talking about American media. How they are with south africa how they showed something about julius and they just showed one part of it where it made it sound like he's just like hella racist just talking about killing white people when i said in there i was like i know they cut off a lot you know let me know how you guys feel about that let me know if you guys agree with what he's saying this was september 7th of uh, this past year so obviously you know it has to do with coping and all that you know during the time and let me know how you guys feel, all right? Let me know. All right, we about it here.